Well, I don't know who ate all the pies, but that's cleared up the mystery of the missing beach ball. I got into a scuffle at the news agents. <laughs> that's not how your stories usually start. I was glancing at the Financial Times. That's more like it. And someone who worked there said, put it down or buy it. They got a bit out of hand. Well, you had a fight. Not a proper one. They bottled it and ran off. <laughs> All right, they had to finish the paper round. He was a kid. She. <laughs> right, come on. Cricket's on in five minutes. Hang on. Exotica at one o'clock. I told them before the programme's called Loose Women. <laughs> Lesbians? Hello. Hi. We've uh, just moved in upstairs. Do you guys live here as well? Well, I do. He's my friend. <laughs> Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I'm uh, Amy and this is my partner, Alex. Howdy, partner. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> so, uh, who's Sundance and who's Butch? I don't mean... <laughs> yeah, well, it was really nice to meet you. <laughs> Pop by if you ever need a cup of sugar. Or an audience. Yeah, not going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going out. Sorry. Amy and Alex seem very nice. Seem like they're OK. They should make good neighbours. Look at you trying to act all nonchalant. Tim, two attractive gay women moving in down the hall doesn't automatically mean we have to celebrate. It's not the law that we have to turn them into sex objects in some puerile male fantasy. Champagne. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that makes a lesbian so interesting? Usually another lesbian. <laughs> hey, maybe we should invite him round for dinner. Yeah, we could do vegetarian. Lentils. Or carrots. Maybe a nice bit of lettuce. <laughs> They're lesbians, not guinea pigs. <laughs> Have you ever actually met a gay woman before? Excuse me, I'm just as cosmopolitan as you. I've had frappuccinos. <laughs> In fact, if you must know, I used to have a girlfriend who was a brief visitor to the Greek island of Kos. <laughs> you mean Lesbos? <laughs> They're lesbians, not Kosovans. <laughs> Her name was Lola. She was a... Showgirl? What? It's a Barry Manilow gag. I thought you, of all people, would have got that. <laughs> or is he a bit too rock and roll for you? I was going to say, she was a bit experimental. Carry on. She was my first proper girlfriend. Well, I say proper. We actually only kissed once. The next day, I heard a rumour she'd been kissing a girl in the biology labs. <laughs> no, it's not a euphemism. <laughs> so you kissed her once and turned her gay? She wasn't gay, she was just experimenting. You once washed your hair, but you're still northern. <laughs> Look, are we having Amy and Alex round or what? Yeah, why not? They're new in town. All I'm doing is offering a welcome hand of friendship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on, I suppose we should invite Lucy and Daisy. Are you mad? <laughs> why on earth would you invite women to a lesbian party? <laughs> It's all right for you. Lucy's just your landlady. Daisy's my girlfriend. She's got nothing to worry about. Amy and Alex are two women who only fancy other women. Daisy can't be jealous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lesbians are just great, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So, what did your new friends say? Are they coming for dinner? How do you know about that? Little bird told me. Oh, yeah. Forgot you're a part-time scarecrow. <laughs> As it happens, they said yes. They're coming on Friday. You'll ruin any vague chance you have with Lucy if she finds out you and Tim are inviting strangers round to get your jollies. I find that quite offensive, actually. Do you really think I could get my jollies? <laughs> it's a joke. The only foursome Tim gets involved in is on the golf course. <laughs> yeah, it's always the posh ones that are swingers. <laughs> Do you get it? Golf. Swingers. <laughs> I'm in the wrong job. Why? What's your job? <laughs> Haven't started yet. Yeah, it's going to get much worse. <laughs> Come on, Barbara, pull your finger out. 
Why? You expecting visitors? <laughs> Actually, why don't you go home early? I'll finish off. Oh, if you insist. <laughs> what did you do that for? Well, she deserves a break. She doesn't stop that woman. I mean, she deserves a break. She doesn't stop that woman. <laughs> Actually, talking of which, you could do the break yourself. Why don't you go out with Daisy on Friday night? Why? Well, she might be your sister-in-law one day. About time you did a bit of bonding. What are you up to, Lee? I promise. All I'm trying to do is see two women get really, really close. <laughs> All right, I'll think about it. Great. Just send that to Daisy. What? Well, that's my phone. I know. I prepared a text for you saying that you'd meet her at half past eight in Covent Garden next to the body shop. <laughs> I'll wait for you to agree first. I'm not a control freak. Well, hang on. I... Oh, talk of the Daisy. An evening oot, we are you, sins like lits of foon. I can't wit. She hasn't really mastered predictive texting, has she? Either that or she's become South African. I didn't say I was definitely going. Well, you can't let her down now. Look, she's cancelled her dictator's appointment. Pepperoni, just like my mama used to defrost. <laughs> right, that's the food sorted. How are we getting on with the music? Do we really need music? Yes, to drown out the sounds of your bubbly personality. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I've been thinking about what you said, you know, about me turning Lola gay. I was joking. You don't know she's gay? Yes, I do. I made a few phone calls to some old friends of hers. She never got married. Never even had a boyfriend. Doesn't prove she's gay. And she works in a lesbian bookshop. <laughs> Still doesn't mean she's gay. I've heard rumours she doesn't fancy you. Gay. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for tonight. Maybe I should go. Come on, Tim. Of course you didn't turn anyone. Look at you, you great big daft hunky beefcake. <laughs> Which woman wouldn't want a bite of the Tim sandwich? Vegetarians. <laughs> well, they can still have the Brussels sprouts. Wait till Alex and Amy get here. They'll tell you it's not possible to turn someone with one bad kiss. Yeah, I suppose if anyone's going to know... But hang on, I never said it was a bad kiss. <laughs> well, it might be worth talking to them about it. Who knows, maybe they even know Lola. How many lesbians do you think live in London? I don't know, 40? <laughs> 80? They're always pairing up, so it's bound to be an even number. <laughs> right, they're here. Now start cheering up, for God's sake. Behind that door stands two sexy ladies that are going to welcome us aboard the National Express to Funtown, Kentucky. <laughs> Calling it Cryface, New Jersey and Boohoo, Virginia. <laughs> and Milton Keynes. We can't make dinner. Don't worry, you don't need to. We've got pizza. <laughs> New York. Oh. <laughs> I mean... Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't leave a crying woman in the hall. I didn't leave her there. She was already there. <laughs> she needs a shoulder to cry on. Can't we at least find another lesbian and watch her cry on her shoulder? <laughs> That's it. Let it all out, Amy. Relationships can be fragile things. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but sometimes I find one kiss is all it takes. Not now! <laughs> Why don't you tell us all about it? We're here to listen. Well, it's been a little rocky for a while, to be honest. It all started a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Everything was going great. We were getting on fine. Our sex life was especially good. That's it. Let it all out. <laughs> Nothing happened, she's a lesbian. <laughs> oh, are you? I didn't know that. This is Amy, your new neighbour. We've just been cheering her up. <laughs> Result. You're back early? Yeah, well, meeting at the body shop wasn't such a great idea. 
Daisy had an allergic reaction to the wild mushroom facial scrub. I thought it was pate. <laughs> I'm Lucy. Oh, hi. Come on, I'll make you a nice hot drink. Things always seem better after a bovril. <laughs> Is this why you wanted me out of the house? So you could have a lesbian round? Of course not. No, he wanted you out of the house so he could have two lesbians round. <laughs> You'll soon find someone else. In fact, I've got a friend who's one of those, um, you know, dipstick lesbians. <laughs> I think you mean lipstick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Although she is a mechanic. <laughs> I think I'd better go. Oh, no, don't be silly. You're in no shape to be on your own. Besides, it'd be nice to have some female company for a change. It gets a bit testosterone-filled round here. I don't know what's worse, the burping, the farting, or the juvenile fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I wish you'd stop all three. I mean, what sort of person would rather watch darts than go to the theatre? Is this question open to everyone? <laughs> oh, not for me. I should go. Oh, don't go. It's still early. Yeah. GMTV still hasn't finished yet. <laughs> You're amazing, Lucy. I can't believe I'm laughing again already. In fact, why don't you let me take you out to dinner tomorrow night? Show you how much I appreciate it. OK. Why not? I know this really posh place in town. All you can eat for a tenner. I'll buy you a bit of broccoli. Why? I thought it was all you can eat for a tenner. Well, it's so expensive, that is all you can eat for a tenner. <laughs> oh, get out of here! <laughs> See you tomorrow, then, Lucy. See you then. Mmm. Dinner date. Interesting. She's new in town. All I'm doing is offering a welcome hand of friendship. All right, you made your point. What point? I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to God. <laughs> so there's nothing more to it, then? No. You hesitated. I didn't hesitate. And just then, when you said I didn't hesitate, you didn't hesitate. Sorry, is this just a minute? <laughs> well, if it was, I'd buzz you for deviation. I can't believe I'm hearing this. What, that you fancy Amy? No, that you've ever listened to Radio 4. <laughs> Lucy's not gay. Oh, yeah? How well do you actually know your sister? Very well. In fact, I'm close friends with the family. <laughs> I know her mum, her dad. I even know her brother quite well. <laughs> Good-looking chap. Some would say dangerously brutish. Didn't know you had a brother. <laughs> Can we please change the subject? All we seem to do is talk about lesbians. Yeah, all right. What's the matter with you, stroppy chops? <laughs> I looked up Lola on Friends Reunited. Her biog says when she was 15, one kiss was all it took to know she was gay. So? Well, it means me, doesn't it? I did turn her. <laughs> well, it doesn't. It means the girl she kissed. Well, you don't know that. Tim, the first girl I went out with became a nun and swore a vow of silence. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> All right, I'm not helping my argument. <laughs> Just forget it. And stop making stupid assumptions about Lucy. Yeah, all right. It's not like your sister's gay because you kissed her. I've had enough of this. Yeah, me too. I wish we'd never met Amy and Alex. Lesbians are just so rubbish, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never been to a gay bar before. It's brilliant. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Inside every straight girl, there's a gay girl trying to get out. Oh. <laughs> hey, come out of there! <laughs> Nothing in there for you. Lucy. Uh, more wine? <laughs> I think we both know it's time for bed. What? <laughs> oh, you mean because it's late, not because you want to. You know. I'll put a cork in it. The wine, I mean. <laughs> and my mouth. Nowhere else. All right? Fine. <laughs> Good night, Lucy. <laughs> and thanks again for the last couple of days. I've really been enjoying our time together. Hey, any time. Day or night. Days are better. 
So, how was your date? It wasn't a date. <laughs> oh, is that right? Did you go to the pub? Yes. Did you have a drink? Yes. Did you have fun? Yes. It was a date. <laughs> oh, I see. So how was your date with Tim? Don't be disgusting. <laughs> anyway, that's different, cos Tim doesn't bat for the other side. All right. His favourite Yul Brynner film is The King and I, but that doesn't mean he's gay. That just means he's... scared of cowboys. <laughs> and another thing. Me and Tim don't have fun. <laughs> If I had a pound for every time I caught you skiving, I could afford to employ a cleaner. Well, you shouldn't pay minimum wage. Well, you shouldn't do minimum work. <laughs> well, it's nice to see Lucy making new friends. It's funny how things turn out, isn't it? The worker bee bringing a little honey back to the hive, only to discover the queen bee getting a bit too interested. <laughs> well, maybe the customer buying the honey didn't realise that the shelf stacker was a lesbian. All right, yours was better. <laughs> Lucy's not a lesbian. My gaydar reads bi-curious metrosexual. Do you know what I miss? What? English. <laughs> Lucy's the kind of woman that wants to experience everything in life, even if it's just once. And what if being a lesbian's like drugs? She might try it just once, and then decide she wants something much, much harder. All right, I've resolved that one myself. <laughs> it's up to you to make sure the side that's bi-curious about men wins. This is just a simple romantic rivalry, as old as time itself. It doesn't matter whether the other person is a man or a woman, black or white, rich or poor, tall or short. Come on, you've got to win her back to the straight side. And when you do, you know what'll happen, don't you? What? She'll end up shagging that rich, tall black man down the hall. <laughs> I would say don't give up your day job, but there's no evidence you've actually got one. I'll arrange a meeting on Monday morning. Anyway, I better go. A big cumbersome package has arrived. <laughs> OK. Bye. What? I just wonder if you're busy tonight. I've got a couple of cinema ticket things and just thought you might like to come along. Help me stop getting bullied. <laughs> Every time I go, this bloke rips my ticket in off. <laughs> what time? Nine. Well, 8.30 if you want to watch the trailers. Actually, 8 to pick up the tickets. Or 7 if we're eating first. Then there's get in there and parking. Get your coat, we're going to be late. <laughs> oh, I can't. I'm sorry. Me and Amy have already made plans. What plans? Well, if you must know, we're going out onto the roof terrace to have some champagne and oysters. And you'd rather do that than watch SpongeBob SquarePants too? <laughs> we're just friends, you know. Oh, yeah? Not what your face said the other night when she was hugging you. Have you been spying on me? No. <laughs> oh, I suppose watching someone do something without them knowing that you're watching is called spying now, is it? Right, that's it. You're staying at Tim's tonight. I'm not having my evening ruined by a silly little schoolboy with an immature attitude towards lesbians. Oh, lesbians now, is it? <laughs> Sorry? Lesbians. Lesbians. It's like watching Bruce Forsyth looking at porn. You just won't let this go, will you? Listen, I once worked with a bloke who we all knew was in denial, and we were right. Although it turned out we'd been pronouncing it wrong. He was in Daniel. <laughs> Can't you have a word with her? I've got enough of my own problems. Oh, you're not still going on about Lola, are you? You can't let a kiss with a 15-year-old girl ruin your life forever. <laughs> Look, I'll prove it wasn't you that changed her. Who did you go out with after Lola? Mandy. Mandy? Are you sure these aren't just Barry Manilow's exes? <laughs> and is she gay now? I don't think so. See? In fact, she's surrounded by men. She's a rugby coach. All right, forget Mandy. Who was after that? Don't tell me. Miss Cabana, otherwise known as Copa. It was Anna, actually. Anna Cabana? Don't be ridiculous. Her surname was Svetic. Anna Svetic? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I've heard them all. 
Was she a local girl? Was her dad a general? If I had a name like that, I'd change it. She did, to Steve. <laughs> Look, Tim, maybe you should pay Lola's bookshop a visit. She might be able to put your mind at rest. I might come along too. She might be able to give me some advice. No, don't be silly, you're right. Of course I can't change anyone just by kissing them. Hello. Oh, hi, sweetheart. <laughs> right, that's it, come on. Where are you two going? We're going to find out if Tim can turn straight women into lesbians simply by kissing them. OK, have fun. <laughs> Well, there she is. That's Lola. It's been 25 years. Are you sure that's her? Yeah. She hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> she looked like that back then. Yeah, we both did. I even dyed my hair black as well. Didn't suit me. I've got blonde eyebrows. It made me look like a Lego man. <laughs> Lola? Yeah? Hi, it's me, Tim. Remember we dated back at school? Oh, yeah. Good God, what happened to you? Oh, you know, <laughs> went off the rails a bit. Oh. You know, I'll leave it out. Have you looked in the mirror recently? That wasn't a reflection. <laughs> Look, I wanted to ask you a question. Have you got a moment? Go on, have a break. Take the weight off your face. <laughs> you know that quote on Friends Reunited? What, the one about how all kittens are like fur-covered sunshine? No, the one on your page, not mine. <laughs> you know, about how kissing me made you realise you were a lesbian? I never wrote that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. It's amazing. Even after all these years, the magic's still there. <laughs> you said when you were 15 years old, one kiss was all it took to know you were gay. It was. But I didn't mean you. I meant the girl I kissed. Phew. I was talking about Sharon Taylor. <laughs> Sharon Taylor? You mean she was gay? Yeah. Why? Because I kissed her as well! <laughs> well, I thought Georgie Porgy was a fictional character. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't plan it that way. I just knew that after my first kiss with her, I never wanted to be with another man again. Is that all it takes, then? One kiss? It did for me. Right, come on. Let's get back to the flat and stop Amy before she convinces Obi-Wan never to touch a lightsaber again. <laughs> Amy? You wouldn't be talking about the same Amy that's just broken up with Alex, would you? Yeah. You better run. From what I hear, that girl is good. I knew they all knew each other. <laughs> that roof terrace is fantastic. Yeah, it's really romantic, isn't it? I should come out more often. Go out, I mean. <laughs> On the roof. And look at... men. <laughs> when are the other seven getting here? <laughs> Happy. Yeah, and grumpy, and Doc, and sleepy. <laughs> and which one are you? Bashful. No. Then prove it. Evening. <laughs> Came back for some clean undies. Gosh. <laughs> Is it really that time of year already? <laughs> Have you been spying on us again? Spying can be a very chivalrous occupation when it's done for the right reasons. You are an interfering little shit. I bet no one speaks to Secret Squirrel like this. <laughs> this is so typical of you. When you found out that two lesbians had moved down the hall, you were thrilled. But now you've got it into your head that one of them might be me, you've completely lost your appetite for it. Well, I wouldn't say completely, but yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but if I'm having feelings for Amy, then it's none of your bloody business. Now get out! Can we just talk about this in a mature and sensible fashion? I'm all ears. Well, I wouldn't tell her that. She'd probably use them as handles when she's trying to... <laughs> right. I think you and me have got some unfinished business.
Can I come in? What's the password? <laughs> Sod offly. You might want to put some numbers on the end of that, make it more secure. OK. Sod offly. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I was spying on you and Amy. It was a one-off. It won't happen again. I missed you kissing a lesbian. Isn't that punishment enough? How do you know I kissed her? I was peeping under the door. <laughs> so, it wasn't for you then? No. Good job you didn't kiss your brother, then you would have turned gay. <laughs> I still can't believe you asked me out. <laughs> oh, that? It's part of my intervention. I once did the same for an alcoholic homeless woman living in a skip. Did what? Asked her out. <laughs> it worked as well. She said yeah, realised she'd hit rock bottom, never touched another drop again. <laughs> oh, tough crowd. Be honest, though, have you ever thought about it? What? Well, you know, you and Tim. Get lost! <laughs> oh, dear, that was a massive hesitation. Well, I was swallowing a bit of bile. <laughs> Been a funny few days, isn't it? Yeah. Still, at least that's one curiosity put to rest. Now, if I can just dunk Anne Robinson and see if she floats. <laughs> Not going out, not staying in, just hanging around with my head in a spin. But there is no need to scream and shout. We're not going out. We are not going.